All right, here is my tripod holder for my iPad Air. It's basically made out of 30 inches of 3 fourths PVC. I have four 3 fourths inch 90 degree elbows. And then down at the bottom down there, there's a quarter inch machine screw and a quarter inch extended nut that will attach to your tripod attachment. The three primary tools you're going to need are a hacksaw, a file, and a dremel. And that's going to be to cut your channel that will actually hold your iPad in place, whether it's in the elbow or the regular PVC. All right. Um, what you're going to want to do with your PVC and all of your elbows, you're going to want to measure uh, across about 6 sixteenths or a little bit wider to, so when you cut the channel, that your iPad will fit in there. Now I know for the other iPads you might have to make it a little wider. Um, one thing I did is after I drew my line and measured and everything, I lined it up and then marked on my elbow so it fits like a nice channel like that. And you're gonna have to do that um, obviously four times for this. Um, I will warn you it gets a little messy and if you did with a hacksaw, you just want to make sure your lines are pretty straight. Um, and then I filed out in there, and it still could use a little filing to make it nice and smooth. And I imagine you could put felt in there if you wanted, if you want to get really fancy with that too. Once you have cut all your channels to hold your iPad, what you're going to want to do is do a couple fancy cuts. Now this is so your thumb can control the start-stop button on the right-hand side. And then this cut right here, um, that's going to be for your camera lens on the opposite side. And that one takes some time. And again, I could file that down even a little bit better, but it works pretty good. A little trial and error goes a long way with that. Once you're done with that, then you're going to want to find the center of the bottom channel, or the bottom PVC, drill a hole. And I put the screw through there. It's a little crooked right now. And then you can have this attachment right here. Just screw that on like that and I don't tighten it all the way but you can with a screwdriver obviously and then you can attach that to the piece that goes on to your tripod now since I made this connector I then started thinking a little bit more and I wanted something a little more versatile so then what I did is I went and got a T 3 4 inch T and I cut another channel on out of it and you can see it's a little wider. Um, the neat thing about this is it can kind of click right on there a little force like that. Then what I did is I went and bought a half inch um, I believe it's a uh, what do they call those? A coupling. Okay and then I bought half inch PVC to go in there. Now this piece right here can go down into your tripod as well. It just kind of depends on what kind of tripod you have. So either way this will work and you can see um, it moves. One thing you could do too is if it gets too loose, just put a little piece of scotch tape in there uh, to wedge it in a little bit. That way you don't have to glue anything and it's not permanent so you can kind of use it over and over. Well, there it is all put together, and you would never want to uh, glue it all together because obviously you wouldn't get your iPad in there. Um, you could glue the top part if you wanted, I suppose, and then just leave the two sides so you can slide them in and out. That would work. Um, I'm thinking about actually uh, making a larger one with a larger diameter PVC. So if I wanted to uh, put my iPad in there with a case, in case it were to ever get knocked over, so that will hold it as well. But hopefully this will help you. Uh, the one thing I love that's great about it, it really makes your iPad feel uh, easily easier to handle too. So hopefully this works out for you. Shouldn't cost you more than five, six dollars, much cheaper, and I think it's pretty versatile. Enjoy.